Well, I got a story to tell everybody, and it's interesting. First, I woke up late from school because I forgot to turn my alarm on last night. And my dad woke me up. It was like 10 minutes late, so I was cool. But then he kept bugging me. Like, he kept coming in my room, messing with me while I was trying to get ready, and I was about to be late. He ended up making me about 3, 4, 5, 6, 10 minutes late to my bus stop, and I had to run there. When I did get to school and class started, I forgot we had a chemistry quiz, and I have a calculator, and she wasn't going to let us get a calculator without taking, like, a 15% point deduction. So I ain't even bothered to go get a calculator. And I felt like I failed that quiz because I already didn't know what I was talking about. Still ended up failing the test, though. That was the next week, and we had more stuff to know. I felt like I failed it because I was using long division to answer the problems, and I didn't know if I was even doing it right because I forgot what you do after the number you subtract and it's bigger than what you have left. So, yeah, that didn't, I didn't think that was turning out too good for me. And then after that, I was almost late to every one of my class periods. I was late to three of them. Luckily, the teachers ain't say nothing, so I didn't get it attention. That was probably the luckiest part of my day. And then I had a pop quiz on this book I didn't know he had to read in language arts class, so I failed that. I know I failed that because I got the quiz back already. But short story long, he I'm trying to get an A in this class, so he keeps throwing these pop quizzes at me, so I'm trying to dodge him like, shh, 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 but it ain't working. I was forced to use a pencil the size of my thumb, and I don't even like pencils. As a matter of fact, I hate pencils because of the sound it makes when you write on paper. It irritates me. Lunch was terrible. We had burnt chicken nuggets that were hard and cold. I don't even know how that makes sense. And then I missed the four o'clock bus because it came before four o'clock when I was messing around in the school. And it normally comes a little bit after four, but that made me have to go back into school and wait for the 4.30 bus. I ended up not even getting home until five. And then while I was walking home, I was trying to record the things I hate video outside. I ended up having to record the last part when I came outside like four different times. The first time I thought I just didn't hit record, so I had to go back out and do it again. The second time, I realized that I didn't have enough memory when I was trying to record it, and it told me after I finished all of it. Third time, when I tried to run back out there before my battery ran out and tried to re-record it again, my phone died at the last part. And then the fourth time, I finally got it after all that struggling, and that's why my hand was so cold, because I was out there for so long at 14 degree weather needed somewhere to record. My hands got so hot that they started burning. I told y'all that in the video. Like, it was like they went to hell, and then they forgot my body. And then when I finally got inside with all the clips of the video, I couldn't do any editing because I didn't have any space. So I ended up deleting all my apps. And once I deleted all my apps, I had the space to edit the video. And then when I edited the video, I couldn't re-download all my apps until I got the video off my phone because there still wasn't enough space for me to have the apps and the clips at the same time. So after that, I was so mad that I couldn't get the videos and my editing app wasn't even working for so long. It was like... I forgot why I stopped. It was, yeah, it stopped working because it was on airplane mode. I have no idea how that happened. But when I figured that out, I had to turn it off. And then I finally got it working, edited the video, and got it up, like, a few days later. And then I played Mario Party, just to prove to myself how unlucky I was. My coins got switched with the computer, and I had, like, 40-some coins, and he had one. So when we switched, I was left with one coin, and he had 40-something. And I was really sorry about that. And then the same computer got the luckiest turn I've ever seen in my life. Like, I ain't never seen so many good things happen to one person in one turn. He ended up beating me. I was really bitter about that, though. The game cheated me. The computer cheated me. I cheated myself. Why they got a hacker cut? By the way, I lost to the lamest dude in the whole Mario franchise, Waluigi. So I was really mad about that. And then my quarterback got the cold. Or at least I found out he got the code on the same day. I was really mad about that. But, you know, he fight through anything. His name's Tom Brady. You should know him by now. Best quarterback in NFL history. Yeah, yeah, I said it. The best part about this is I called out that I was going to have an unlucky day. From the moment that I woke up late. And, hey, look at where we are today. Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Prince. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. I hope y'all enjoyed hearing about my misery. Uh, Make sure you hit the like button. Bucket, yeah, hit the like bucket if you enjoy. Subscribe for more. There's gonna be a lot more videos coming out. Uh, I might make another rap video next week. Uh, maybe even a freestyle if I want to. But yeah, comment, like, subscribe, share, all that other stuff. I'll see you guys later.